Uh, okay, hello everybody, welcome back to a another play view. Today we're going to be playing Knight's Link. Again, as what is typical, I haven't played this game before. It's completely new to me. One of my many, many games that I've had on the backlog for a long time. All I know about this game is that apparently you play as some kind of delivery guy in a post-apocalyptic world, and... That's about as much as I know. I, I know very, very little about this, so we're just going to jump straight in. Nice thing does not have a save feature and must be completed in a single sitting. Okay, so it's a shorty. Okay. Okay, so again, aesthetically, we're once again sort of exploring something that's very Haunted PS1 style. I've heard this game compared to Paratopic a couple of times, so... And I'm absolutely seeing that for sure. That's another game we're going to get to at some point on this series. Uh... Oh, okay, I got 76, 88, and 96, so... Can I run? I can run. Okay, 76. Hello there, you got the stuff. I have a head of you, get it home. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Finally been waiting all week for this. Let's see if it's as bad as they say. But... The voice acting is... Yeah, again, I, I've heard this again with Paratopic. Because I haven't played Paratopic. I know of it, and I've seen... Like, I've seen the Mandalore video, but... As much as I know about Paratopic, the voice acting in that is also, like, similarly weird and kind of fucked up. Uh, 88, 89, oh, hello. Can I speak to this person? I guess not. He's interested in me, though. He kind of looks like... He specifically reminds me of the character models out of the PlayStation 1 Tomorrow Never Dies game. Or The World Is Not Enough, one of the two. Who's this? So I'm giving So I'm a mute. <laughs> And we got one more, which is 96. I like the vibe so far, and the, the whole liminal sort of aesthetic thing going with the, the similar hallways. It's kind of creepy. Again, I know we've kind of played a fair few of these type games, and... Okay... Delivery. And then the crying stops. Oh, no, okay. Ah, oh, this is cool. I like the music. Music's nice. And the atmosphere is very suitably ominous as well. But it's, it's definitely more mysterious than ominous. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, hey. Oh, they're tapes. Okay. I love how this is designed. This looks really cool. What am I... What am I doing? What am I recording? It's feeding into something. But what is it feeding into? What am I recording? That's pretty spooky. Because what the fuck could he be recording that's all the way over there? Oh, okay. This is cool. I like this a lot. Again with the crying. Okay, 76 again. Yeah, 83. So these, are these like returning customers? Sure, you're welcome. I think I see it now. What could he possibly be referring to? There aren't any, like, windows or anything, are there? No. It's all very... isolated and... Hmm... 83. So presumably, the more times I do deliveries, the, like, word spreads that I'm... I'm delivering the good shit. Got some music playing. And like no one can no one can come out and Okay. So it's it's clearly something that's controlled or illegal or regulated or something. Hello. Delivery. So you got people who are like really excited or nervous and then you got others who are really numb to it. Like, they're used to it. Who's this guy? Uh, Fuck you. What could it possibly be? That's curious. Again, I can't talk to him. He's just, he's just kind of there. Okay, there was a downstairs thing before, and I want to go see what the hell it was, because it it was intriguing me last time, and now the boxes have been moved. So, oh, I can't go down there. God damn it. Okay, 96. Baby's not crying anymore. Hmm. Yeah, yep. I certainly am. Here you go. No.
Okay. Mm-hmm. Let, let me go. Oh, God, I'm back again. This is... This is interesting. It's... It's mysterious. I, I can certainly say I'm intrigued. But it certainly... It definitely feels like it's a more short experimental thing. And I, I don't think you're going to get many answers out of this. I might be wrong, but... Also, the sound design for this particular part is, is pretty nice. I like that. Not a huge amount else I can say while I'm in this room. Oh, okay. It may just be the baby's crying again. It might just be the aesthetics, but those clouds looked really fucked up. Oh. It's like spookier. 76 again. It's like, oh, it's like rustier and there's dust particles and stuff around. So the place is more run down. Well, good for you, because I have the thing for you. I don't sleep anymore. I'm afraid I'll forget if I do, and there will be nothing. Okay. 83 again. Yeah, the place is all like. Is that him? Is that that guy at the back? Or is that a door? I think it's the door. Oh, the creepy, clanky, uh... Oh, the audio design here is really cool. It's really, uh... Jesus. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, 83. Wait, wasn't 83 on... Oh, right? We used to bury our dead. Yeah, so it's like a post-apocalyptic thing. Or current, current apocalyptic thing, I don't know. So what makes me special? How come I can wander around the place and seemingly have no issue. Yeah, like... The conversations are, like, breaking down. There's not... And, like, in the beginning, they were kind of happy to see you and stuff, but now it's, like, they're more robotic. The voice acting it's 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 so bizarre. I've got your tapes to while away the hours. Oh all right. Okay. 88. 
And the like, wallpaper's like peeling and shit. And the guy's gone, the smoking guy. It's like the same voice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no, Mala. Yeah, the the smoking guy is gone. Can I knock on a door that isn't a delivery? I can. Oh, okay, I, anything happens. What happens if I knock on every door? Like a madman. Oh. Oh, hey. What the f fuck? Uh, okay. No, oh, make him. Oh, I got. It's like a. It's like a glowing rock or something. This game is definitely intriguing. I'm finding I'm not having a lot to say about it. But at the same time, I feel like it's trying to say a lot. If that makes even the remotest bit of sense. I mean, whether or not it's, you know, a commentary on a form of addiction, maybe, or... You know, maybe it's trying to say something about how people withdraw into themselves. Like, I don't know. I, I genuinely, I don't, I don't really know. I feel like... I feel like it wants to say something, but I'm not quite sure what yet. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I guess... Oh, there's... Um, oh, they're like hands holding the rock things. That is very suitably ominous. And they've all, they've, they've like all got their hands out holding these, these rock things. Is it the smoking guy again? Yeah. What's he about? Am I now going to finally talk to him? You've really done it this time, haven't you? I don't know, have I? <laughs> I guess... Oh, hey. Oh, this one's been boarded up. Is it because I stole the rock? And I gotta get it back? I don't have it, though. Oh. This is where I make my tapes. 
Okay. So what am I filming? I was like some rusty Silent Hill shit. Hey. Um. I honestly thought that was going to be it. Oh, what the f Oh, what the hell's that? It's following me. Do I have to run away from it? It's like following me around. Oh, it's like an insect. Oh, that's disgusting. But it's got like the head of a, a a bird, I think. Is this like a Mothman thing? Am I playing... Oh god, hello. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh, there's another one. It's just like... No one lives under the lighthouse again. Well, I like the music. Music's really good. I mean, I, I can't, no, no complaints about that. I want to. I want to see if I can get closer. He's right there. He's standing on the bridge. See if I can get. I want to see how close I can get to him. No, I can't. Uh, okay. That was Night's Link. Um, it was okay. It was alright. I, I I appreciate you know a shorty any day, and it was interesting seeing what it had to offer. I think it's like a short experimental idea. It was pretty cool. You know, again, I'm always a sucker for the Horner Pierce one stuff. Visuals wise, always a sucker for that. I think this was a really nice way of using it. Because sometimes, like, the thing is, although I say that, they're not always going to be used well, but I think this one used it quite effectively. Music and sound design was nice, like that. I, I guess I just don't have much more to say about it. I think it's the kind of experience that wants to say a lot, and it wants to get you thinking. And I'll probably end up thinking about it more after I stop recording and. Who knows, maybe I'll have some like internal revelation or something. I mean, that's normally how my scripts go. I, I sit and think about things and then I draw my conclusions from hours of, of writing. But as it stands, I thought it was okay. Worth getting into if maybe it's on sale, I guess. So yeah, that's it for me on this one. I'd like to give a thank you to my top Patreon supporters. Game Master, Dark Raptor 86, BFD Survivor, and Shikotsky. And I will see you next time. Thanks very much.